Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. This is Melody from Bake a Leg and Let's Dig It. Hope you love my attire. I'm kind of scorched. Proof is in the pudding. I got terrible sunburn gardening. So my lovely friend is behind the camera because we are going to do chicken pot pie in a crock pot. My version. Um, yeah, so chicken pot pie or if you want you can turn it into um chicken and dumplings so let's show you this is the piece of chicken it's humongous um i've seen people do this something like this recipe but they throw the whole thing in i'm not going to do that i've already washed my hands i'm just going to kind of help the chicken and just start cutting it crock pot's not on yet and then Kind of just to help it along pretty much as you can see this was one big boneless chicken breast so you can just cut it down like such and then you can do it in chunks you can throw it in whole if you want and then fork it at the end i kind of just want to help it along so Let's cut the chicken up. See a little extra fat and just cut it off. We figured one breast because we thought it looked like it could feed like three people because it's only me and my friend that's eating it so there's a lot of chicken here this is a quick meal you can make during the week Holy man down must rinse one second folks okay we had one man down um, what was I saying now? You can make this as a quick meal um, for the next day, which is what I'm going to do. Um, make it in the summertime. Make a big batch of this to feed a lot of people. Like I said, you can use biscuits on the top of it when it's done, or you can make some dumplings. The choice is yours. I am basically today just going to show you the ingredients, how to put it all together. I'm more of a chicken pot pie type of person. So, get off of that. Okay, so it's a little bit more bigger chunks, but that's okay. Nothing wrong with that. Here's, I'm just using a standard crock pot. It's not a Ninja one. I do have something by Ninja like this, but it really isn't deep enough. Now, if you have a crock pot liner, that would be great to put in there. I'm just gonna spray it a little bit. If there's anything left in here, just a little bit. Easier to clean up. But they sell those crock pot bags you can put that in there so we're going to focus on the crock pot it's off we're going to put the cold chicken in like so it's like a good decent amount and the bigger chunks we will just um let me rinse my wash my hands we will just um cut the bigger chunks down if they're too big. And make sure when you start your chicken off in a crock pot, which I'm just washing my hands. This is the first time my friend's ever behind the camera. So say thank you to John for video recording this. Okay, so the chicken chunks, let's talk about that. So we'll say focus on the crock pot. They're a little bit bigger, but you can always, as the cooking process is going along, 
you can just fork it, make it a little bit smaller. So we're gonna make sure I plugged it in. Of course not. Plug it in. I always like to start the crock pot off cold and the meat room temperature. So I technically am gonna put it on high right now. So cut your chicken up. You can do three boneless. This was a really big piece and this whole meal is only gonna be for me and my friend anyway. So I've seen a lot of people make it without potatoes. I'm such a potato person. So we're gonna use Yukon Gold. I'm not even gonna bother to peel them. I'm just gonna wash them and give them a quick chop. Let me switch out cutting boards and knives very quickly. And I'm thinking that th these three potatoes are pretty big. So it's a pretty large potato. We'll see, because I don't want, you want to have it to be equal amounts. And like I said, that um, chicken breast was pretty large. So some people use red skin potatoes. I wouldn't recommend Idaho potatoes for this unless you really want them. And then you can just peel them. But I just slice it in half, slice it down the middle. And we're going to keep everything kind of the same size. I mean, you're working. Quick meal. You got to get dinner on the table. something great just to throw together very quickly and I love pie pies but I'm a little undecided if I'm going to turn this into chicken pie pie you know with the biscuits on the top or if I'm going to do chicken and dumplings so you can decide how you want to do it if you make this recipe feel free but this is just me showing you how I, I make this and then tomorrow I will decide at the very end whether it's going to be biscuits or whether it's going to be uh, dumplings. So another thing I just dropped, of course, the dog will get it. Um, we're going to put our potato chunks in with the chicken. It's on high, so she's going to fight for that one piece of potato I just dropped. So put all your chicken in. Put your potatoes in. I mean, you don't have to be super precise. I'm just making it a little bit more chunkier. I like a good, hearty, thick. Um, chicken pot pie anyway. So next, I bought two packages of this McCormick's chicken gravy. So I'm going to go in and we're going to sprinkle this all over. I'm not going to use chicken bouillon cubes. I know some people do that when they make this. And I picked up the big cans, but I'm going to judge if I'm going to use two or one. So I already opened the one. So we have that in there. So I'm just going to get a spoon. Mix the chicken and the potatoes with that together. Now, I have frozen fresh green beans and organic baby carrots. I would say roughly probably like a cup of each or a cup and a half of each. I'm going to see if I have enough. I left the bags out. I need to add more. But if you notice, I'm putting everything in cold in the crock pot. Now, I don't have celery. John's mom puts celery in hers. I don't recall ever eating celery in my chicken pot pie. So this would be great even for a kid that just moved, moved away from home. So there, we mixed all that up. I think the vegetables look pretty good. Now we're going to use, let me bring it over, some celery salt. 
I'm just going to eyeball it for you guys. I would say, don't forget, it's salt, celery salt. I'm using this in place of celery. So I would say like a teaspoon and a half. And then a little bit of poultry seasoning. Comes out super fine. About a teaspoon and a half. You can do a tablespoon of each if you want. I'm not going to add any salt into this because of the celery salt. And then what we're going to do is we're going to get, I'm going to grab black pepper. I'm going to put some black pepper in there. Freshly ground black pepper. Like I said, I'm not going to add any salt. We're just going to mix everything all together. doesn't get any easier. I can feel the pot starting to warm up now. So put everything in cold or frozen all at once. You can also do two, three chicken breasts in here. And then just pork them. I just decided to chunk it. And I'm going to put... This is... How many ounces? This is... Hold on, let me put my glasses on, folks. Um, 6.6 .6 ounce can, so one pound. We're going to put the whole family size cream of chicken right into this. This is where it starts getting good. Now, I do have a Ninja all in one pot. Could have probably went that route, but I wanted to do it in the crock pot. As this is technically for tomorrow's dinner or early lunch, whatever. Um, so I just wanted to kind of show you how I put it together. We want to mix this all in. We're going to see how it looks on the one can and determine if we're going to use the second one. I like chicken pot pie creamy. I don't know about everybody else, but I love it when it's creamy. You know what I'm thinking? What do you think, John? Another can? I think that's what I'm going to do. So let me throw this in the trash. John will show you in the pot. Let me grab a wooden spoon. I just want to mix it a little bit better. Let's see if I want to add a second can into here. And I'm just not, I'm not going to use frozen corn. I actually picked up canned corn. You don't have to worry. It's not going to disintegrate. This creamy goodness, you will be surprised, will be amazing when this is done. So what I'm going to do, folks, is I'm going to put the second pack of the chicken gravy, because I did pick up two. Sprinkle it in. Give it a good mix in really like nothing really to this okay that looks mixed in enough to me and I definitely think close your ears because it's gonna be the can opener it's gonna be loud If you want to pick up the little cans, I would probably say, you know, four at least. And we're going to put the second can in. This will create its own juices. Hopefully you can see this. Like I said, my friend is here and he's nice enough to record this because he's going to be eating this. We're both going to be eating this tomorrow. So, and then all I'm going to do is add not quite half a can of water, and really that's it besides the corn. Not even a half a can of water. I'm just going to put right in there. 
And then we're going to mix it all in. And you're going to let this cook overnight, anywhere between four and eight hours. And this will be delish. You can already see. This is why I added a little bit of water so it mixes in a little bit better. Quarter of the can of water. I'm going to dump the corn in. And that is it. You can use Bisquick if you want to make some biscuits, plop it on the top. You can make some dumplings and put it on the top. But I wanted to turn on the camera because it's a super easy meal to pull together for your family or your friend like me. Like I said, I wasn't using frozen corn. So, I actually didn't have any when I was at the grocery store. So, you can put frozen in here, you can put can in here. And this is a full crock pot. Look at how much is in here. This will feed quite a bit amount of people. So if you want to cook it for overnight, like I'm going to do, because this really is it. There's nothing fancy smancy about it. All done. Um, if you want to cook it overnight, I would put it on medium. If you want this to be done by dinner time, I would put it on high. So eight hours, I would say on medium, four hours on high. And that's it. So simple, easy recipe, not a whole lot of ingredients. Like I said, you just need two cans, the one pound, 6.6 .6 ounces of the cream of chicken, the family size. I use two of these. And you're going to need McCormick's Chicken Gravy Mix. I used only one can of sweet whole kernel corn because they didn't have it frozen. I used organic frozen uh, carrots from last growing season. I put them in there and some green beans that I grew last year that were frozen. I also put in there cold crock pot. I put the meat in first and I used three Yukon Gold potatoes. You can use two teaspoons of celery salt and two teaspoons of poultry seasoning. You can see that. And then a teaspoon or two black pepper. Um, and that is it. I have mine on high right now. I want to get it actually cooking. Um, but that's it, guys. This is like my just... Uh, dump it into a crock pot recipe. Like I said, this can be your chicken pot pie. And then you can put um, biscuits on the top of this or cook your biscuits separate. Um, I'm thinking about doing some dumplings out of some Bisquick. Definitely not gonna be making that homemade. This is a super quick, easy meal um, that you can have for your family. And just wanted to show you what I was throwing together in the crock pot. I call it a a, a dump it meal. So with that being said, chicken pot pie with biscuits or chicken and dumplings feeds a lot of people. This is just for me and my friend. And if you look in the inside, that's a lot. I mean, that breast was pretty big. We were debating whether or not to use another one, but it, that one was pretty large. It's just he and I that are gonna be eating this. So imagine if you're making this for your family, you could put your three breasts in, let them cook first. You could fork it, pull it apart. I diced it, help it along. Start it off in a cold crock pot and just added everything else. So I will leave the ingredients down below in the description. And um, yeah, there's my dump it meal in a crock pot. Chicken and dumplings. You can also make chicken and biscuits. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick, short little video. And um, this will be amazing. Just put the lid on and let it go and let it do all its work. And all I have to do is throw a few things in the trash. And that's it. Very quick, simple, easy meal. We are looking forward to having most likely chicken pot pie. John, what do you, what do you want? Biscuits? I'm going to let him decide. I don't know. We might do, I think, chicken and dumplings. Or I might make the biscuits on the side. 
You could even, if you look inside of here, at the very end when you know this is done, you can lay your biscuits across the top and just put the lid on. When the biscuits are done, then dish it out and put it in a bowl. So there you have it, my chicken and dumpling or chicken and biscuits. Dump it all into a crock pot meal. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for coming along. It's super quick, super easy, not a whole lot of ingredients. You might already have them on hand and um, quick, fast, easy meal for your family or just maybe for your friend, like I'm making it for my friend. Love you guys. Smash the like button, subscribe. If you're new here, welcome. And um, I hope you enjoyed the video. Until next time, God bless.